going on? Brian Tonk here, and this is my review of the Sony WF-1000 XM4's wireless earbuds. And you know the name has never been the most elegant, but who really cares because the XM4's are the best sounding noise canceling wireless earbuds that I have ever used, and I've used a whole lot. Now we've been waiting for the next generation since the XM3's for almost about two years, but the XM4's have absolutely been worth the wait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down all the improvements here from the previous XM3s and then also do comparisons with Apple's AirPods Pro. But let's just start off with the looks of these things. And these are just completely redesigned earbuds and they look a whole lot better compared to the XM3s. You've got a trimmer rounded design that still incorporates touch controls on the surface. And then they're also 10% smaller. You also won't find any stems here at all. You got nothing kind of funky sticking out of your ear. They come in black or silver options. And then you have this copper accent right here. This is the main microphone that's involved in many of its features. But we also have here, the fit and feel has really changed because Sony has now moved exclusively to these foam earbud tips for the XM4s. And they seal off the sound better than the silicone tips that you're used to. Now they do come in three different sizes. Um, in the packaging, you get small, medium, or large size options. They're also a little different because if you feel them, uh, they have this like kind of almost like a thin rubber coating over the foam to help them last longer versus your typical phone tips that can break down a lot faster. But when you put them in your ears, I mean, honestly, this is, it's all about the seal and these foam tips, they get deeper into your ear canal for better noise isolation. You can also run a setup that detects how well they seal off sound through their app and it suggests the best fitting foam tips for you. But these newly designed earbuds are just smaller and then you look here, so is their case. Now this is 40% smaller compared to the XM3s and that is gonna be a huge difference. You have the XM4 earbuds that can give you eight hours of use with noise cancellation and no one can match that at all. This case here gets you 16 hours of charge for two more full charges. So combined that's 24 hours of battery life and then you can also do a quick charge for five minutes that gets you 60 minutes of playback. This charging case also supports Qi wireless charging. So the design from top to bottom, right? From the earbuds to the case, it's just been totally reimagined. And this is a huge improvement. So Sony, they were to make these XM4s smaller while giving it the best in class battery life with a completely redesigned integrated chip inside that they call the V1. Now this combines the noise canceling and Bluetooth components into one single chip. So that makes it even smaller than the Q any one chip that was in the XM3s. Now with a smaller size, the V1 also consumes less power. So really inside of these things, this V1 chip is like the secret sauce in the new XM4s. We all know that the number one thing that matters with earbuds is sound and I just haven't heard a better sounding pair of wireless earbuds. I mean, these things are truly amazing. You've got deeper bass here. You've got beefier, fuller mids than the XM3s and then really clean highs and vocals. Inside, this brings a new six millimeter driver in each earbud with a 20% increase in magnet volume. So that gives it just a fuller sound, especially in the lows. And then that same driver is also delivering even better noise canceling signal to the lower frequency ranges. Plus, you have their equalizer in Sony's headphones app that allows you to select or create and customize your own sound profiles. But the XM4 support high-res audio, so that means they support Sony's proprietary LDAC audio codec, but you need devices that support LDAC's 990 kilobits per second bitrate over Bluetooth. That is the highest, but these are only gonna be either on Sony devices or some Android devices. It's not everywhere, and most people, quite honestly, probably can't pick out the subtle differences, but they're there. They also have Sony's DSEE Extreme technology, and that's using AI to upscale your older compressed music files. Think of something like an older MP3, and then in real time, it restores some of the range, some of the highs to make the audio actually sound better. But the XM4s, they just flat out sound better than anything out there in its class. I really think that these sound amazing, even connected to an iPhone, and yes, they absolutely sound better than the AirPods Pro, but the first track that I played on them was BTS's Butter, and I just instantly could hear the audio quality. It just felt more alive with a wider range of sound compared to the AirPods Pro, which really felt like you're kind of like in a little tube. The details in sound here though, they were just significantly better right from the start. And you know, this holds true across all genres of music, whether it was classical, rock or pop. Plus again, that equalizer inside there, it just adds so much more for your own customization. And I know some of this sounds too good to be true. I wish you could really hear these for yourself, but look, the AirPods Pro, they sound good, but the XM4s, these sound special and it's not even close. Now we talked about the sound, but we haven't even talked about the noise cancellation on these. And if you didn't guess already, 
These are also the best noise canceling wireless earbuds that I've ever used as well. You start here though with the foam earbud tips, that's gonna help seal off sound better, so that's gonna be part of it, but then you combine that with the actual work that their new V1 chip is doing we talked about earlier. You've got four noise canceling mics, and then there's new driver that produces an even better noise canceling signal in the low frequency range. I only wish that you could try these for yourselves because these are the best noise canceling wireless earbuds today. And they really are amazing. I just feel like we're starting to get to the point now where these are starting to rival over-the-ear headphones when we're talking about noise cancellation. Now at one time, Apple's AirPods Pro, they did have some of the best noise canceling for earbuds, but then they did this firmware update in its first few months and it was just never the same. So the WF-1000 XM4s, these are bringing the best sound quality, the best noise canceling, and the best battery life in its class with an even more compact design. But they also do more, right? These finally bring an IPX4 rating for splash resistance and sweat resistance. So look, don't swim with them. Don't shower with them. Not, not that you would, I, I don't know, some of you are all crazy, but they can handle pretty much everything else. It also brings speak to chat, which was a feature from the over the ear XM4s. It uses four mics and sensors to recognize when you're talking, and then it pauses the audio that you're listening to. And I think it's really clever, but if you like to sing out loud with your music, like I do, uh, you're gonna wanna turn this feature off, but maybe in something like a workplace or office setting in the future, this is gonna make a whole lot more sense, unless you sing out loud at work. Mic quality for calls, this is always gonna be important, and these are more than acceptable. These XM4s use beamforming microphones, so you have four mics to pick up your voice, and then bone conducting sensors, that's where it kinda detects the vibrations here in this cheekbone area to give you the best call quality that it's capable of. Now, I wouldn't say that they blow everyone out of the water, but I would, let's just say they're solid because comparing them to AirPods Pro, those still have better call quality to me, but I still just haven't been blown away by any mic quality from earbuds to this point. All right, let's talk about some of the things that the XM4s do not have. The biggest omission for some users is that it can only connect to a single device. So that means it doesn't support connecting to two Bluetooth connections at once or what we call multi-point. Now that's gonna exist on many over-the-ear headphones and I think uh, Jabra might be one of the only ones that actually makes earbuds that support multi-point. So for me, this is not a deal breaker and it likely has to do with kind of the space available to integrate that feature in this design, but it would have been nice. The XM4s also support Sony's 360 reality audio and Sony's been really pushing this audio format for a few years, but it still has a limited library of less than 200 tracks on Tidal. You have a few on Deezer and Nugs.net, but again, this is still extremely limited, but the XM4s do not support Dolby Atmos. And in this kind of arms race for features between wireless earbuds, it's something to consider because these guys aren't able to play Dolby Atmos content. So that means we're talking about TV shows or movies or even Dolby Atmos music on Apple Music if you're in that ecosystem. And that kind of gives me a perfect lead in to compare these to their biggest competitor in the space, the Apple AirPods Pro. Now, look, there are no doubt here the XM4s have superior sound quality, they have superior noise canceling, and they have a better battery life with eight hours of audio with the noise canceling feature on versus the AirPods Pro's four and a half hours, so that's almost double. Fundamentally, those are the three most important metrics for noise canceling wireless earbuds. Now, we look here, their cases are closer in size than ever. The XM4s is gonna be wider and thicker while the AirPods Pro case is slightly taller. These both are wireless charging cases over Qi Wireless. And then if you also look here, the AirPods Pro, which are smaller in size and design, uh, they have IPX4 splash and sweat resistance ratings just like the XM4s. The XM4s are compatible with the Alexa, Google Assistant, and Siri voice assistants, while AirPods Pro are only Siri. The WF-1000 XM4s, they retail for $279. The AirPods Pro right now, $249. So the XM4s are more expensive than their competition like the AirPods Pro, you've got the Sennheiser Momentum 2s, True Wireless, those are $249, and then even the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, those are $199. But here, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you're gonna have the ability to hand off your AirPods Pro between your iPhone, iPad, and to the Mac with little effort. That's one of those ecosystem benefits. And then they also support audio sharing, so multiple AirPods can connect to a single device. The AirPods Pro also support Dolby Atmos, so all those TV shows, movies, or music that you're listening to through those devices support spatial audio. 
And then you have Apple Music that they're making really their own push into Dolby Atmos for music tracks. And we're gonna have to see how that library grows, but it's really challenging Sony's 360 reality audio. But Sony, I think one of the places that they're missing here is they still need to leverage their PlayStation brand. And this is a huge hole that they're missing because they have best in class XM4 wireless earbuds. They have one of the best in class XM4 over the ear headphones and they are not compatible with their own gaming console. You know, this was the same for the PS4, and I just think this is low-hanging fruit. This is an ecosystem play for them that seems like a no-brainer, but they just haven't taken advantage of it for the PS5, and I do hope that changes, but there's really nothing that says it's going to anytime soon. I also wanna mention that the packaging, this is actually really clever where everything inside is stacked on top of each other in layers, but the packaging itself, other than the label, is made of a combination of sugarcane fibers, bamboo, and a paper blend that's using recycled and sustainable materials made specifically for Sony. And because, look, I love tech, I also love this planet, and I think you can do both. Now, after considering everything, there's always one word that is gonna have the most influence on your final decision. We said it before, that is ecosystem. Because the XM4s are the wireless earbuds to get for their best-in-class sound quality, you've got the best-in-class noise canceling and best-in-class battery life. Those are huge advantages. They've truly, really elevated what's possible in this space. And it reminds me that instead of these companies pumping out incremental updates year after year, less is more, especially after what Sony was able to accomplish with the XM4s just two years later. The only reason you would take the AirPods Pro over these is because of their Dolby Atmos compatibility and then obviously their ecosystem benefits. And that's gonna matter for some people. Maybe the lower price point might swing you as well, but the Sony XM4s have significantly just raised the bar. They set this new standard for the best sounding wireless earbuds with the best noise canceling and then the best battery life that you can find today. And if you can't tell, I absolutely love these things. Whew, they're good.